Hello everyone, it's John here with another Company Heroes 2 replay. Spawn on the south side as the austere player, we have Fortune. Spawn on the north side as a USF player, we have Von Ivan. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the doctrines. We do got encirclement. I don't really see that being... Oh, there's only two cutoff points. One of them is very close to a garrison, so potentially good. Fortified armor, even if 1v1, an elephant on this map can be quite potent. And elite troops, so we do have two, the both of the stormtrooper doctrines. Elite troops, I would say, is probably the best candidate. Stormtroopers plus G43s do excellent at all ranges. And over on the other side, we do have, oh, this side. We do, in fact, have the armor company being locked in. An unusual choice, we most likely will not see in assault engineers. Due to the fact that they're expensive, they don't really perform all too well. So, it's sort of interesting that he locked this one very early. This is something usually you lock in a little bit later if you're not planning to use Assault Engineers to call in the M10s as well as the 105 Bulldozer. And opener, MG to Grenadier. And opener over here, two Riflemen. Both players are heading to the left, not even making a look to the right side. So we will see early engagements. It, all, it can be very variable how it goes. Get a good flank of the MG, it will decisively go on the USF player, Von Ivan. Don't get a good uh, flank, he, it will be decisively going to Fortune. Bolton's a bit different. We do got the 80 tank gun production. He's pack 43. Oh. We need to look at that bolt a bit more often. Pack 43 is can build 50% faster as well as a pack 40 in this. You got the pack 40 builds 10%. Okay, what? Why on earth would you even look at this bolt and we get this bolt and if you're going to select one of them? Ooh, nice flank with the uh, rear echelon. They do have decent long range damage for their pricing as well as excellent close range damage. Not as good as Pine is close range, but definitely much better at long range. This MG team receiving quite a bit of damage, we're losing one model there. However, the Grand Gears are focusing them down. Does get two models down, so we may only have to retreat it back sooner rather than later. Models down, seeing a huge amount of losses from the Grand Gears squad. Not big surprise. We do got also some wire to prevent that usage of the garrison. We got both the riflemen heading over here now. We got third rifleman as well, and an assault engineer. An assault engineer where I just said it will not going to be very good on this map or just in general. Grishalon will manage to get out of there. And he's actually, the Grand, the MG team's actually not retreating back. Even with only two models, he's going to keep around to keep the field pressure. I think he's just outside the range of the MG42. Yes, he is. Engineers will be protecting the cutoff point, but this range they won't be able to perform all too well, and that's quite a bit of a lag spike I just got. When selecting back and forth between players, it can do that, so I really try to avoid that. Now, it's like a good range for Grenadiers, but the, all the additional damage from the Pioneers from the MG team will push away the Riflemen. The right side of the map will be secured up by the USF player, Von Ivan. This squad may go down, but there's only three models, so most likely not. So engineers reinforced back in line, proving that they're not very good at long range with their SMGs. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Rifleman in the heavy boat oh, was in heavy cover. Now he did do a bit of flank. I believe that these models can no longer are affected by a bit of heavy cover while they can get no cover with the rifleman. So a little good little flank there. Allows him to push away that rifleman squad quite quickly. We have got another cutoff, but he's going to run straight into assault engineers. They're getting an effective good range, close range engagement. Getting quite a bit of amount of good damage in. Actually sustaining huge amounts of damage now from the pursuing assault engineers or from maybe going for the go for the squad wipe. He's not body blocking his own squad. That is a possibility, but he did not. He let them run by and holy crap this lag's back. Enemy forces are securing our territory. And having trouble with the lag spikes with this replay. 
I have cast, tried to cast before, then I've got to turn on my microphone. Which is a huge blunder on my part. Looks like the uh, MG team will finally retreat with that Our second flank. We got Lieutenant Tech turn. coming on out. A Lieutenant Tech as well as a Field Hospital. Most likely we'll see, well, perhaps, not most likely, perhaps we will see an AA half track. Granted, the AA half track is a bit wonky to maneuver, but once properly maneuvered, it's an excellent suppression platform. And even manpower bleeding doesn't do good at wiping the models, but has an excellent job at ending. And, staf and stationary shooting, pretty much. We got four Grenadiers, three Riflemen, one Lieutenant. We got the Lieutenant now definitely spotted. Is does of course come with a bar as well as the um, Lieutenant model himself will use a some, some machine gun. Riflemen going for a nice flank. There's heavy cover there, but there these units are within point blank, so the, the heavy cover is null and void. It may lose a couple more models upon retreat. Pioneer squads taking damage away from the Grenadiers and from the MG team. Along. And these units models are not very effective in combat, so that's fine. Ooh, looks like these units were in garrison. They got burned down a couple times. That model got was burning. In he may he may will probably will not escape out. He's going over negative ground. There go the right from the room back to finish him off. Losing that squad, it can be very problematic. We do got immediately a teller mine here. The AA half track is being built. The AA, AA half track will run over the. If it runs over the AT mine, it will be destroyed. He does have a mine sweeper squad here, so he is worried about teller mines since they are the bane of any allied light vehicle. Especially the bane, because it pretty much, I believe, it one shots every single one of them. I'm not sure about the AEC. But everything else is one shot. So I don't think it's one shots a uh, SU-76 either, but that's more of a assault gun than a light vehicle. A half track has been built. Definitely has been spotted now. Retreating back is very warranted. You got immediately loading up incendiary rounds. I need to retarget to. Yeah, he will retarget to the AA half track. We'll get one burst in, just out of range. The A half track is just barely in range. Ooh, not good. Ooh, losing a second squad would have been devastating. That's his only bedded up squad at the moment. And bedding up only gets him access to med kits, but makes him close to the back too. The enemy has driven a wedge in our lines. Thirsty. Quick uh, sip for my drink. More like a gulp. Oh, I'm assuming we're going to see a pack 40 relatively soon. Because he has two bulletins for pack 40s. We do have a lock in of the fortified armored doctrine. You'll gain access to Panzer Tactician, Recon Overflight. Hold down command tank as well as the other Yes, I know it's elephant. Well, all the German accents in the game says the elephant, the elephant, or something like that. I'm horrible at understanding accents and trying to reproduce them. The Grenadier squad. Oh, there's a squad on retreat. The squad may get wiped out. He's already lost one squad, so losing another would will be devastating. Also, Avengers C1 squad. Oh, at maximum range, man, to get to. And we do got the telemines there. I believe the. We saw the rear echelon pass over those, didn't we? Oh, you may be aware of it. We'll be eyeing the clear that out. Very good field control by a Vaughn Ivan. In access to well, soon to be both fuel points, both mission points, almost all the strategic uh, points, neutral points. Is it just strategic? Standard territory points. We're losing a capture point. And with the AA half track, assaulting would be very problematic for the Austria player Fortune because he will need to get a pack 40 or a 2 to 2 with a good flank. 
the two to two is vulnerable. A oh, is under not good to get in the garrison. Not good in the garrison. Who we'll jump out? Was just saying only minor damage. Could actually fight that out if he did not run straight towards him for a bit of time. But he will retreat back. Quite a bit of damage done to the assault engineers, but he can just always retreat that back. Retreating back now wouldn't be half bad to prevent the manpower bleed and heal it up. Why did that? Oh, legs. Sorry about that, over leg spike. Why did he retreat the squad? Uh, see, three models left, and it was a full model. All four models are alive. Granted, a bit of damage, but it's a bit of damage. Ooh, nasty, very nasty getting all these free fire on the retreat path. Will not wipe any additional squads. That would have been really bad fortune if we lost another squad. Do in fact have a mortar team. The mortar team is sort of a soft counter to the a half track. Oh, just expecting him to fire upon the uh, or move across that teller mine any moment now. Tanks coming close, the smoke's coming to, uh, to prevent the suppression onto the Grenadier squad. The lieutenant will deny the capture and be in very good range because he's a Thompson as well as a bar. Well, may have Thompson because the oh, that's right, may get on top of the bar, maybe cooked by the team. So preventing the pumps from being used. And I'm just having a lot of lag spikes. I'm not exactly sure why. A fresh mortar crew has arrived. Ooh, getting some good nice mortar heads. Without another smoke, trying to after the eye capture this point will be intercepted by the Grenadier squad. Oh, but rifle grenade. Oh, no, but he got suppressed before actually got fired off. The saving will also, the lieutenant will throw out a frag. By the smoke grenade means that frags have been researched. That was a regular frag. Hmm, regular flag? Definitely means frag research. Quite a bit of fire behind that bush. The grenadiers won't be able to approach. Only one LMG has come down across the line. He's been a bit mission starved this entire game, as well as fuel starved. So the Austria player, Fortune, is on the back foot. So another MG team. He has two mortars. I'm to hit his opponent's infantry. The half track has not been aggressive. So Pack 40 hasn't really been warranted, but been very. has been. These lag spikes. I'm not sure if it's causing these lag spikes. Enemy forces have 300 points. I don't have these lag spikes when playing in the regular game. Crowds are sniffing around our asses. Tactical point being captured. Because of these grenadiers will be classed on. Oh, looks like perhaps a mortar skin the uh, A abstract. You got an M20? The, the M20 is a unusual option to say the least. Ooh, losing that Grenadier squad would be devastating. It was a negative, negative cover, but looks like he will manage to get out. Lieutenant will be forced back once again. MG team, this looks like the fresh one, will get forced back as well. As I was saying before, the M20 is an unusual option. Of course, has the lay down mines, but he's already been using up a lot of his munitions, so he can't make a good use of that. He already has an AA half track, so is he trying to hit this over on the flanks, perhaps like an MG? Unusual option at this point. And then maybe just trying to spend some fuel. Oh, this looks like a squad wipe. Incendiary rounds. Yeah, just that's dead. Immediately rebuilding the riflemen. There's plenty of fuel and enough to get an M10. But he doesn't need it at the moment. There's no targets from the gauge. Well, I can go for the stupid crushes for the M10. There's nothing really for him in much to uh, be fighting with it. So that's why he's not deploying it. Rifle squad, waiting for orders. 
a capture point. Ooh, I just noticed that. He could have been blown up. Granted, the US and UKF uh, demo charges are not as explosive as the Soviets. This is really don't want to be walking over. We got the M20. What would be a great idea if he throws a frag? Forces him into the tel in the mine. Oh no, he's not getting out. Oh, he may just straight up lose that squad. M20 is going to eye for the wipe. Nothing here to protect it. No deep tellers. 20 retargets. We'll get the model. It drops the LMG. A nearby Grand Gear squad could go ahead and. Oh, getting a second squad wipe. Oh! Two down grenadiers. Now that M20 was definitely worth it. We got the command take moving forward. Rear echelon running for the LMG. We'll claim it. Now the M20 may go down. So he's eyeing the rear echelon, trying to wipe that out. Oh, but it's just sweet to tell her right then. Almost blew up his own teller. M10 coming on out. M20 is still alive. Oh, but he lost uh, two of some riflemen during that engagement as well. So two grenadiers, two riflemen going down. That's not exactly good. M10's not moving forward. You definitely get a pack gun in order to deal with this in order to save his M10. And it looks like this mine has been blown up. It may have been from the AA half track, force firing it. Could have been from the mortar team as well, splashing his own mine. Enemy infantry! Fire will! Send order! The half track is not exactly in good working condition. It's at about a little over half health. It's command tank. Oh. Not what sure what's going on. I reduced the anti aliases anti aliasing uh, event uh to help uh, reduce the performance or well, increase performance. Even then it's not doing all too much doing it. Maybe it's my hard drive, something with recording. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe drivers may need to look into that. We got a demo charge here as well. More team will be displaced. This demo charge is very hard to see. Even if he does sweep it, he may not even be aware of it. I mean, look at this. This white circle is only visible if he's just so far forward. If he's back here, not so much. We got the end and I'm moving forward. Trying to go. Does crush a couple models, three models of this Pioneer squad. Command tank is hauled down. Got a nice rear armor hit there. Oh! Light, light vehicle just M20 got goes destroyed. down here. I think definitely a pound spot. Definitely a pound spot. And he's going to grab his own, but the he, you see, just actually bad love. Get moved throughout the AT rifle grenade. Most of it could have penetrated the rear armor as well. So, unusual choice. M10 hitting the bunker that's unupgraded, so it's soaking up shots away from the command tank. The command tank's getting some very good range. Ooh, now we've got a Sherman, Sherman bulldozer out on the field. An excellent uh, support weapon, support tank. Bunker's definitely going down. We will definitely need, going to need to see a pack 40. It does Enemy not have the manpower for it. Though he is building tech structure for it. I'm not sure who will win the fight. The man tank or the bold. Oh! I think an MG got in there and the bulldozer destroyed the demo charge. Are taking 
Overdozer just ignoring the command tank. But the command tank's getting a couple penetrating hits, and with the increased rate of fire, it's more like capable of fighting it. I do believe the Bulldozer will actually win a fight between a hollowed down cans of four. Or barrel cans of four. Oh, we may see, yeah, we're going to see a grenade trying to force him into the demo charge, but was unable to. Grandier Skull probably went out because of the LMG. I'm trying to throw in some shots into it, but we'll have trouble. This is a EDT unit. Pushes him, this Grandier unit into the de demo charge. Only really gets to the models. There's a brief moment when he could have got all three, but one model is farther out. So we got a defensive teller mine here in case this unit trying to get up close to destroy it. We run straight into the teller mine. Pack 40 is now out on the field. That's exactly what's need it needs to deal with the bulldozer as well as with even with the uh, M10. Bulldoze is now hitting the MG when it has its back turned. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Another flag spike. I wonder what it looks like in the recording of these flag spikes. And then trying to crush the pioneers once again. Pack 40 does get another a couple of nice hits into the 105. Our near squad may get overwhelmed, well, although rear echelon only has one model firing, so don't be worrying about that. This unit is in negative ground, negative cover, so that's not going to be good either. A half track still alive. Act 40 does pull a miss on it and really does need a hit. Oh! This squad got wiped out. He wasn't paying attention. You may see a Panzer Faust. I think that is. An yes, it is. It's definitely enough now to get the snare. A half track still problematic. Both mortars are alive. We're losing the number of squads right now on Ivan. So the number of squads I believe they've lost is currently equal. And. He's probably going to be saving up for an elephant, but he's... Oh wait, he just spent some of the fuel. Crowds are sniffing around our asses. Tactical point being captured. I just saw, what, 60 fuel just got spent? Well, Looks like a uh, battle phase is being researched. He's probably not going to be pulling the elephant this game. We're probably going to be seeing uh, Year 3 coming on out. Cross, pans of fours. Oh, that command tank is getting... He actually moved it forward a little bit. Getting some very good range onto the right command. Because granted, it's probably going to the ground quite a bit at that range. It's, I believe this area is on top of a slope, as you can see here. So he's firing up a hill, though there is a bit of an angle where his gun actually has a little straight target to that area. Oh, found the pack 40. Oh. Where did that rifleman go? It was a squad captured. I don't see any bodies. It looks like it, he must have went down there. I see what... Uh, no, that's just a flag. So it may have just... Uh, had a good hit onto those into that squad to kill it off. And you don't use incendiary rounds on... On uh, anything with really armor. 
Zero rounds won't do anything to his T70s. Won't do it. Oh, nice rifle grenade. There is a Browning. So we do have another suppression platform, but the lack of riflemen to really support. Though he does have plenty of fuel, so he can get out another Sherman Bulldozer for any team. But you don't use incendiary rounds on the M10. The M10 has 120 armor. Ooh, you may see a squad right here, and we do got the stun rounds from the Pack 40. Smoke coming on out, he would not get the Grenadier squad. Like, the M10 has, of all the tank destroyers in that tier, the SU-76, the M10, the Puma, and the AEC, the M10 has 120 armor, which means he can withstand incendiary rounds quite easily. I would say the AEC is probably the heaviest of all the armor you can use in scenario rounds on. We got another demo charge here. If you would not have pushed forward and let him draw him in, he perhaps could have got, got it. They have only 75 points remaining. 25. Oh! Minesweeper I got destroyed, not detonated. You have enough fuel for another bulldozer. I would call it the deploy it. Increase the anti infantry attack. That's the field. Back four is at better too, so if it gets any more vetted, it'll be very problematic. So you still need to focus that down quite quickly. Two bulldozers can easily handle it. Or at least should easily handle it. Those effects, you know, Sherman Dozer, it was queued up right here. Two behind to push this area. Ooh, the AA half track will finally go down at the 26 minute mark, 26 43 seconds. Oh, and there goes the Browning. You could claim that. That Browning will be a dish good uh, addition to his own uh, arsenal. Sherman Boulders are eyeing to hit the motor team. This one sustained a huge hit. That one roll, will roll miss and immediately into a stun shot from the pack 40. And of course another good penetrating hit. May see a third penetrating hit. I believe we'll get two more hits in the moment before it can go down. Lieutenant and the uh, soul engineers are all that remains for the infantry. The US player. We'll throw out some smoke onto the MG42 team. And we will see the flamer come down this Grenadiers. But we do see a rifle, rifle grenade coming in. A very close rifle grenade can be quite deadly. I invent the crew of the brownie, but he was unable to deny it. Ooh. Oh! The command tank doing some different amount of damage, and the uh, MG42 with some follow up points. shots wipes out the assault engineer. That is a huge loss. Now he's just down to the lieutenant. I was going to say, perhaps you can invest in weapon racks, get a bar on the assault engineers, which really does help with damage, as well as another one on the lieutenant. The cavalry has arrived. There is a Stug coming on out, another anti-tank asset. So a second M10 may be warranted soon. Five and ten, trying to kill off this pioneer squad. Another attempt to crush. Another stun round onto the M10. The Stug is out. The Stug can go in and chase it down, and then there will be nothing left to protect the bulldozer. Missing shot there, but the Stug does get a hit. 105. Oh, abandoned on the front line. That can be very problematic if either player loses it. Looks like a Grenadier squad just went down. Not sure what it, where it went down. I I think it may have had to do with this bulldozer, and you see a couple dead Grand models there. We got this reinforced M10. The Stug has it. It's trying to use a move order instead of a reverse move. And now it's going to be circled around, but the AT gun's here to protect. Stug is two shots away from death. One shot away from death. 
We do have enough munitions for a stun shot, but but did not activate it. Rolls a miss with the M10. The pack's repositioning. They will get a shot off. No, they still gets a shot off. And then another miss on the out of control state, preventing the kill on it. Do got the the bulldozer could go for the kill on the Stug, but the Stug could get the kill on the bulldozer. Sun round onto the bulldozer over here. Stug over here to reinforce, but no, it's going to retarget the low health one on the left side. That one goes down another with a two hit combo between the command panzer and the back, and the other bulldozer goes down as well. Von Ivan only has a lieutenant and an ambo, which he could just pop out the medics if he really needs to. You ready to roll out? But he's not in a good state. He's really not in a good state. If he would have to do that, he is just not in a good state at right now either. He, can, he deploys an M10, so he has an anti-tank asset, but he only has one anti-infantry asset. On Ivan's also known not for surrendering, so this game will probably drag on. Oh, I just realized Fortune's down to the last 10 tickets, hence why he was so aggressive to prevent the capture over here. Lieutenant has claimed the MG42 team. Roger Grenade comes on in, but he's going to sacrifice all 10 PPs. Sacrificing quite a bit, maybe warranted, but no. Oh, squad's lost. He should have retreated the Lieutenant squad much earlier. Throws in the frag. There goes the M10. Lieutenant's not retreating back. And he goes down. He's just down to an ammo now. What's this going to do? Pop the medics out? I mean, Send orders. His point is unguarded. There's not even there's no fighting position. Do got some riflemen being built. He sees a Stug. He sees a vetted up pack. Deploying a vehicle right now, even though he has plenty of fuel, may not be the wisest option. He just needs to stall out and get ten more VPs. And I was sort of joking about the medics. He actually did pop them out. These medics are going to do work. Squad, Medics, they do have a, a decent close range damage. They are armed with M1911 45 M guns. But I don't know how Von Ivan will win. He just needs to grab enough VPs. His opponent is not aiming to get a triple cap. So he only needs to capture one VP and hold it for... About 12 seconds. And then, that can be a bit of a tall order. We do get the command tank. It has pretty good anti infantry. I have a lot of grenadiers, though only one was vetted up. He lost the other ones. Two MG teams. That will be very problematic. This is the an MG 42 team. And this is a captured Browning that's even more problematic to deal with. Does have enough munitions for a 240 millimeter howitzer barrage? This grenadier squad is down to the last three members, and the medics are winning because this unit's down in negative cover. Getting some decent damage, not exactly greatest, but actually managed to push back a three-man squad of grenadiers. These medics have gotten more kills than most people have ever done with medics in Comfy Heroes 2. A smoke grenade coming on and out. We got backward, back side demo charge. It does have plenty of munitions for frags, so we'll see a, gr a grenade spam. Oh, this is going to be a nasty one. We'll claim two of the models there. Has nothing to prevent the capture. He needs to move the needs to move the Sprouting into the capture zone he cannot let the capture happen no he falls back when he just he should realize this is just a stall tactic knows he how little vps he has he needs to put it in the v point p not worry about its own squad safety he's just going to capture this point there's a command take yeah he's going for the crush as you can see he's going for crushing we'll push the mv team will not push it out of the capture zone and will actually capture the point he will fully capture it but there's nothing to hold in the area. But he's going to sacrifice the squad himself. We'll call in the two or three. He's going to sit on the smoke. We'll throw the frag. Oh, 
Black Spike. And I think the command tank force fired on the ground or he killed himself. And I don't think that was enough stall. He threw another smoke. I was unable to uh, stall the game out. This 203mm is going to be very problematic. I believe it fires two more shells. I think it fires four shells total or five. Oh! And that's a problem when we go into own, own artillery barrage and make it hit yourself. And that one barely misses. You got the Stug now move forward. I'm the snipe the ammo, but it's currently not being utilized. You got the M10. Had no big choice. We got the re M10 reclaimed by the austere player Fortune. Do you got this point being secured by Grenadier as well? The medics did manage to retreat in time. Do you have two models left? But the Ambo is down. I was going to say, I believe the Ambo needs a minimum of two models to. This M10 could go for crushes. The squads have no stars of veteran C. And that means no AQ grenades. Somehow gets a very good hit right there. Wipe me out, what, four models? Maybe M10 I'm just tank destroyer ready. not realizing how many models they have. You got M10 out, go down the field. Lucy M10 versus M10. But he hits his own MG bunker. The austere M10 now has a shot advantage. Just needs to get one less shot in. You gotta hit onto the. But the austere M10 is still winning. Another hit on his own MG bunker. We get a hit there. And we'll receive a hit in return. This unit does now have the AP round, but doesn't really need it. Oh! Tried to detonate it, but was unable to destroy it. We got so the Stug got the command tank being repaired up and now pretty much on the capture point. Triple cap in favor of. Fortune could, he should hop inside the bunker. He has a double cap, so he can lose his VP and be fine. Uh, I would actually hop in the bunker for for a good uh, fighting position. Provides uh, garrison cover, which is better than head to cover. We will in fact see the MG built and start shooting away. We got the brownie in the back line as well, so he will definitely secure up the air. We'll throw a smoke grenade in time as it gets pinned. Puts out another M10. This one has Thompson's. Is he going to reinforce the medics and put them inside the M10? Well, is that a possibility? How much does that vehicle crew upgrade cost? It's like 75 or even, was it even 90? Something expensive. We got a haul down Stug being deployed. The M10 can't be destroyed, hauled down because it is from another faction, doesn't have proper animators enabled to it. Four Grandiers are out still on the field. We don't really need all too much because he only is fighting against two. Here we go. Thompson upgrade is in fact 90 munitions. A staggering huge amount. Two M10s should beat out against one. No AT rock grenade. Please get two more hits in right off. We will see a pants pulse or running towards a pants pulse. We didn't have actually oh, but crushing the rifleman, the M10. I just believe that's a good uh, justice right there. Tactical point 
the squad does in fact have an AT rifle grenade. We will in fact see an AT rifle grenade. We'll crush some more rifle models. We'll immediately recruit the antennas. They have enough health so they can still withstand four shots and just want to take one shot to destroy it. M10 tank destroyer ready. And we have three M10s out on the field, but we still have this vetted up pack. This vetted up pack would be still so very problematic. And we do got even an MG bunker here as well. Medic's leading charge over the rifleman. Now this M10 assault may do some good. And tends to take out the MG bunkers. You know, to take out the MGs themselves, but can just crush the additional models. And now we got Hall down Stug. And then of course we can have the increased rate of fire as well as range. Second Stug's coming on out. He has enough fuel-ish. Enough fuel. Oh, getting a third Stug as well. Points. I was going to say, he could cancel both of those Stugs and perhaps get an elephant. If he does this elephant, that's not a huge problem. His opponent still doesn't have much manpower. We'll in fact see a frag. We'll retreat back in time. And tank did in fact spot this. The two Stugs should be repositioning. This MG bunker is definitely going down. A one penetrating hit there. We've dropped to a hundred points. Von Eisen will claim this right BP. Does have enough damage in the Stug to get damaged engine? Will not get it, however. The Stug's not being focused now. They're both focusing on this one, the health one. This a target weak point if so choose. This one's main gun destroyed. He needs to focus on the on this one here. And does in fact get a target weak point blocking the turret. We'll take it out. Do still got this one M10 here. Take two hits left to take out both of those guys. He's down to one health and left he goes down. At 40 maybe lining up shots. Oh, okay, so it's a bit more. And we'll be taken out. This reinforcing M10 to move forward. We can go in, perhaps try to get, uh, needs to get another turret weak point on. We can lock the turret. This one's turret's facing the wrong direction because it only saw this one and result it going down as well. Both of these Stugs are both down to one shot. He still has one full health one, the fresh one. But there's no more M10s left. He has enough fuel to buy one more, but that's it. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. With only two riflemen and a medic. Versus a very well entrenched defensive line. We'll get out another Pioneer squad. That's very warranted. And these VPs down to 30, 28, 25, 22. He's assaulting this one, but even then he needs to claim two of them now. Four, three, one. And there we go. The playback is now over. Fortune coming back with only three VPs left. King of Victory versus Avon Ivan. This is Adrian saying thank you for watching and signing off.